Okay, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing a horror game called The Crypt of Terror. Uh, I saw that there was a sequel to this game on H.I.O. that I wanted to check out, so I decided I should play this one first. So let's get into it. 3rd of May, 1336. Three weeks ago, a curse was betowed upon a town of Sheridorn. Livestock killed, crops desiccated, madness grew. Shrieks and that were heard from the town's foregone catacombs. Many believed that to be the source of the town's curse. Lord Rayla commanded the town's clergy to go down and rid them of this evil. One by one, they entered the depths of darkness, yet none returned. The corruption only grew, and now, by the Lord's order, it is your turn to venture down. I don't know how I... Farewell! I... Wow, okay. No, I don't want to. May you rid us of the evil. Okay. Thanks, guys. Well, uh, I'm off. Bye bye. Okay. Do I have a torch? Kind of dark down here. E for lantern. Oh, okay. Ooh. I like, I like. Okay, so my mission rid the town of evil. How would I do that? I don't know. So I assume I'm also a clergyman because it looks like they're sending them down here one at a time and we're just not succeeding, so. Okay. We've made it. Huh. Okay. Dead end. I thought of E for like interacting with a wall. E puts your lantern away. Okay, so we're just taking a little stroll. To the right? To the left? Okay. I am a man of the cloth. Nothing can harm me down here. I will rid the town of this foul curse. Um, what did I just hear? Um, was it like a rat? Okay. Someone definitely died here. Okay, maybe I go back up. I thought going down would be the answer, like, the further down you go. Maybe I'm right about that, though. Did I miss something down there? Wait. The loop now. Well, let's go back down here real quick. There must be something down here to interact with. Hello? Evil curse thingy? Oh, a door. Okay. Why did I knock and the door open? Oh, uh, no. I better not have to do that quickly. Hello? Oh, another door. Two doors. Okay, or three, actually. That one has blood. I have a feeling this is... not the way to go. Well, you have a great day. Wait, is he coming? There's something twinkling down there. 
nothing. Further down. Okay. Jeez. <sighs> oh, now it's just a long tunnel. Um. Oh, it's an altar. Oh, a blood altar. Okay. With another door. I don't know why knocking opens the door, but... Oh, wait, up? I don't think we want to go up. I thought we want to go down. I mean, if I can leave the catacomb unscathed, you know... Oh, we're going back down. Was that like a decision? Here? Oh wait, I'm back at the altar, okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm a little tense right now. But like, oh. what's that sound for? Oh, further down. Wait, do do I want to go further down? Isn't this just gonna? Oh, dead end. Oh, it's a hole. Okay. Uh, oh me oh my what have I gotten myself into this time yo this guy's a climber though kinda claustrophobic just me is there light down here or is it just the color no huh hey is that fire what is that huh Moving slower now. What is that? <laughs> A game by Daniel Buckley. Okay, yeah, and that was the Crypt of Terror. Woo! Okay, on to the next one. Okay, and this is the next one. It's called The Witch of Shergorn Forest, which is the sequel to the game I literally just played. Uh, so let's see if there's any, like, anything good happens in this one, or is it just as bad as the last one? 22nd of March, 1335. Oh, wait. Is this a year earlier? Last night, the son of Lord Rayla vanished. Oh. The boy was last seen in the valleys to the east. So the Lord sent his men to search the desolate hills. Yet the town's priest disagreed and spoke of his visions. Your boy traveled west, he told the Lord. Yet Rayla was never a man of faith and ignored the priest. You, on the other hand, saw truth to the vision, visions. They spoke to you. In the morning, you embarked west towards the forest. The Lord's prize would be great if you're able to return the boy. Okay, so I'm looking for the Lord's son. Hey, this is a better setting, at least right now. So we're looking for the Lord's son in the forest. Hey. So I'm definitely a different guy. And I'm pretty sure the town definitely is completely cursed by that point. Because, like, everyone just keeps dying down there. Okay. We're off to save the king's son. Or the Lord's son. Ooh, blood. 
That can't be good. But I'm just gonna keep following this trail. Because, like, if there's a trail, that means someone else probably followed it, right? Hmm. Kind of getting dark. Huh. Weird. It was just, like, bright and sunny and happy. Uh, this pixelated style of games are, like... Like, I get, like, games being really scary because they look so realistic, but the really pixelated games are terrifying also, actually. Is it just going to turn completely night? Wait, why is the sun setting so quick? Okay. But yeah, like, they can be so creepy, like, retro-style, like, themed horror games. Like, they're genuinely terrifying, usually. Just because, like, sometimes it's hard to distinguish if you're looking at, like, something that's scary. I'll need wood for a fire. Like, it's hard to distinguish if you're actually looking at something that you should be worried about. Or if you're just, um, like, looking at some random crap, you know? Like, things just pop out of nowhere. Okay, come back here one at a time, or can I carry multiple? Yeah, I'll come back one at a time, I guess. We're looking for wood. For my fire, because we're camping. I don't think this is going to be good for us. Like... When is it ever good to be like, yeah, I'm going to go into a dark forest just because, like, there's a chance of getting a nice reward, you know? Like, me, on the other hand, I'd be like, nope, I'm out. Sorry. Wait, can I carry more than one? No, I can't. Okay. Also, the people that make these, like, retro-themed games, they do a great job on sound design. Sound design is always so amazing in these games. Let's go! Fire. Did I survive the night? Oh, it's not over. They forbade something west. Oh, they forbade searching west. Okay. Hmm. The boy wandered into the valley. Hmm. Yet yeah, here I am. <sighs> no stars or anything, huh? I feel like something wanted me to come here. Am I gonna, like, get cursed or something and then go back to town? Wait, I'm gonna step on a branch. And then I'm gonna spread a curse there? Is that what's gonna happen? Is this witch gonna curse me? Is that my fire? So someone's watching me? What's that? What is happening? Something, is that another fire in the distance? Dude, I can't see crap, but I assume I'm supposed to go towards yeah, it's another fire. Dude, it's so dark. Like, I assume if it's dark for me, you guys literally cannot see a single thing. See, this is terrifying, because, like, I it's so retro pixelated, I can't... What? Wait, this is the thing from the end of the, the first one. This little eyeball thing. I literally saw this. It's a witch's hut, isn't it? Is there like a entrance I should be able to see or I want to walk away from the house. I The thing is I I can't see anything. My fire's out now, so it doesn't say there's a way to pull out a torch either, so. Um. It's too dark to see. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I found a door somehow.
Oh no. Hello? This is the fire, huh? The empty house. Looks in this. E? What? There's something I'm missing. Wait, is there something on over here? Oh, it was a trap door. I just broke my legs falling down. Dude, I literally can't see. Get a turn on soon. Oh, hey, who who lit this? Hello. That sound has not got any better. Hello. What's ticking in my ear right now? About to die. Nope. I refuse. Um, why is my guy not questioning? Is that the dripping I'm hearing? Why is my guy not questioning, like, what's going on right now? dead man dude I do not like any sounds I'm hearing right now Wait, I can't see am I about to drink this why why would why would I drink this I deserve to die now. Like, why would I? Who in their right mind would be like, mmm? Are there more chalices around here? Tell me, guy. Why, why in your right mind would you drink that? You know, I deserve to die. Oh, me oh my. Am I gonna start like tripping? What, what's that sound for? I, I better not turn around and that creature from the first game is here. Why is my heart beating so fast? Like I said, they, these games do great on sound design. So I literally am not seeing anything, but I, I am my my heart is gonna give out. We're in a crypt. Hmm. So he chose to drink from that blood fountain. I wonder if this guy's gonna turn into that monster that was in the crypt. That would be crazy. Hey wait, there's light down there. Also, are these doorways getting smaller or they are? Wait, is something standing down there too? No. 
No, of course not. No, no, there's nothing here. There was another candle, though. Oh, hey. What's this? Wait, is that a cage? Is there by chance a boy in there? There's four locks. What the? Little, little Jim John? So oh, I gotta find keys. L little Timmy, you can just slide through there, right? Did, did it give us a name for him? Wait, I gotta do one key at a time. I have no light though. Why are the keys just sitting here? But okay. I mean, they made it nice and easy though. At least it's. You know, whoever locked him up wanted him to be. S oh my goodness gracious. What are you? Um, that was him. <laughs> he actually got me again. The Witch of Sheridorn Forest. Wow. Okay, yeah, both of those games are great. I wonder if there's gonna be a third one. You know what? Interesting, I like how it kind of built off the first one, but then it just made it like more interesting, like, oh, collect these keys, and like, oh, you drink the blood. Why'd I drink the blood? But yeah, anyways, that was The Crypt, right? I think that's what the, the first one was called The Crypt. And the second one was called The Witch of Sheridorn Forest. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content. If you have any game suggestions, drop those in the comments down below. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!